Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to The Sims 4 Seasons where well, you are joining me and Mr. Grayson. He has taken Max out for a very brisk walk in the snow. We have actually changed to spring now. We have sunny weather. Um, it is still rather cold though. He's just taken him for like a short walk around the block. Has Poppy come outside? What is she doing? I have no idea what this child is doing. Lord knows. I'll just let her get on with it. And it is new skill day. So in the last part we celebrated New Year's Eve and now it's a brand new year. Spring has sprung. There is still snow on the ground unfortunately but we are fully gonna focus on his skills for today. So all we have to do for today is skill improvement. Try out a new skill or develop an existing one and all sims learn skills faster today. I think I'm gonna have him try and work on his gardening skill. I think it's probably still too cold to plant stuff unfortunately because there's actually a lot of stuff that we can plant for spring but I reckon it's gonna tell us that it's still too cold. Oh no, wait, it's not too cold. Okay, well we're gonna go and plant some stuff because we can and I am also gonna open a spring package. Um, carrots are also fall and spring so I'll plant at least one of those. Green beans are summer and fall. Uh, green peas are spring and these are actually new harvestables in season. So we're gonna add a like three of these I guess. Um, these are fall. What about the daisies? Daisies are also spring so let's have at least, we'll have two daisies. Um, spinach is winter, uh, holly is fall and winter. Okay so I think we've got most for, uh, for what is available for spring. As you can see the fall and winter ones have actually now gone dormant which means they just stay in the soil like this until they actually come to a harvestable time and they start growing again. That's what happens with the new gardening update and if you have seasons as well your plants will go dormant. I'm actually gonna take our decorations down um, because they were for New Year's so let's get rid of all of our decorations. I'm also going to put the cards back in our family inventory as well so they can go away and we are focusing on his gardening skill. Like I said in the last part, I think we are also gonna throw Poppy's birthday today. I don't think I'm gonna show you much of skill day because it's literally just gonna be him probably actually completing his aspiration. Um, what's wrong with the dog? He's just like chilling in the snow. He's probably hungry. We should probably call him over to our house. Let's do that. Let's whistle him over. Hopefully he will. There we go. Yeah, we called him. And now we're waiting for our pet. Well, let's water all of our plants. Apparently they still need watering, even though it is snowing right now. Oh, one's already popped up, really? What is that? The carrot plant is already popped up. And why is this not getting our gardening skill? Oh, it is, we just don't have our skill thing for some reason. I am actually thinking of um, upgrading my PC soon. So hopefully it means that you guys will get better looking graphics and everything. I'm thinking of ordering it probably this weekend. It's gonna cost me a lot of money, but I am still rocking like a Nvidia GTX 780, which is like four years old now, maybe even five years old. So I definitely need to upgrade my PC and it's just easier to buy a new system than also upgrade everything because I pretty much need to do like a new overhaul. My computer is so hot right now that I'm actually scared it's gonna switch itself off. So I'm gonna save the game just in case that does actually happen. And as you can see, he still needs to fish at three different locations for his aspiration. We are gonna take him to one of those places today. Again, the skill will go a little bit faster and I think 
we're on like level nine, which is insane. I think we're gonna come over to Club Calico because we actually haven't fished over here, I don't think. I think we've only fished at the beach in Brindleton Bay. So hopefully we haven't fished here and then this will count as doing his, um, his New Year's resolution. Cause as you guys remember, if you saw the last part, we set his New Year's resolution as completing this aspiration so fingers crossed this will work if we can get it to is there really no fishing docks around here are you serious i thought there'd be fishing somewhere around here wow it's all the way over here well then i'm gonna teleport and no don't order a drink do not waste my simoleons boy that is not what i'm asking for <gasps> Resolution complete! Grayson completed his resolution of completing that aspiration milestone. Great job! I mean, that was super easy. I kind of wish I had picked the, um, the working out one, like losing weight, because I think that would have been good for him, but I was hoping you could kind of do also, I love how his fishing rod is glitched. <laughs> I wish um, we could have done multiple New Year's resolutions, but unfortunately that was not the case. So now he wants to mount or bowl five fish. I don't think we actually um, have a fish bowl, so we should maybe buy like a fish tank. Oh, we could just mount them. That's probably easier to be honest. That is not a fish. I love how the underwater things also has a snow effect on them, like the seaweed. I think that's more of like a visual glitch than anything else. I think they just added the snow texture to everything. Um, so maybe that needs fixing in the future. <laughs> but I don't think I've ever had a sim be an angling ace. Not that I remember anyway, maybe Helena was one in my original asylum challenge or maybe my runaway teen was one. I'm not too sure. Speaking of Runaway Teen, I do still want to do a brand new Runaway Teen series, which is hopefully going to be coming soon because I'm hoping I can get Asylum Challenge done sometime this week. <gasps> he caught a fish that's worth 169. Ay, uh, where is it? Where's our infantry? I'm just gonna sell it. We're not gonna mount that one. We'll just mount some cheap ones because we're not really gonna earn much money off them. So I'm gonna skip through till tomorrow actually and when we are celebrating little Poppy's birthday. We are back on this fine Monday morning. It is the second day Day of spring which means that it is our little Poppy's birthday. Grayson's actually awake bright and early. He's gonna cook her a cake. He's making I think a strawberry cake I told him to make but I actually wanted to do something on screen because I knew you guys weren't gonna believe me if I didn't. Uh, first of all I'm gonna sell these extra fish that we have so I'm gonna get rid of those and then then we have five sturgeons up here. Once I got the notification that we had actually caught these fish, I couldn't quite like believe my eyes. Um, we're gonna put that in. Don't take a slice of that cake, I swear. Um, open this up and instead have some scrambled eggs and bacon. But yeah, when I saw the price of these, I could not believe my eyes. So we have one for 410 simoleons, which is fine. That's like standard. We have one for 655 simoleons. So we're gonna sell that. We have one for 1,877 simoleons. Oh my goodness, 994 simoleons and then 2,021 simoleons. I wish fishing was that great in real life, but oh my goodness, that almost brought our funds up to like almost 10k, which is absolutely in insane. I cannot believe the fact that we got that. Oh, also I forgot to plant all of our strawberries. We need to do that. Let's uh, plant those as well. Get those on the go. I cannot believe that that just 
caused so much money like that is actually insane we're definitely gonna be able to buy our greenhouse soon which i cannot wait for i may actually um if this lot's any bigger i think it might be but i'm not 100 percent sure but if this lot is any bigger than this lot i think i might just move their house over to this lot and get rid of the vet um because honestly like i would love to have a bigger back garden so i think i might do that like keep the same house um but just move lots because honestly this lot is just a little bit too small for my liking so i think i might have him do that which is definitely gonna help oh my god all the rain all the snow just cleared up and it started raining oh my goodness can you believe that Oh, look at all the snow piles. He's shoveling the last bit of snow away to uh, get it all cleared up. I can't believe that just melted like that. I guess with the rain falling, it kind of has an effect on it. So I can see why that would have happened. Uh, we're also going to clear our plates away. Oh my goodness, you need to empty the trash. Instead of shoveling the snow, which is a little bit arbitrary, also your shovel was glitching. I mean, it's gonna melt anyway. It started to rain, so it kind of doesn't make sense to uh, shovel the snow. I guess we should buy some more things. So what I want to do is actually buy an umbrella rack. I don't know why I have cat look caps lock on but i want to buy this umbri umbrella rack 100 simoleons the end all be all of umbrella storage this stick metal container gives you all the options for choosing the right umbrella to go with each household member's personality so we're just gonna buy one of these and stick it in the hallway so we can now pick umbrellas for when we need them considering it's spring it's probably gonna start raining an awful lot and then i also want to to buy some beehives these are 265 simoleons i think we're just gonna go for two um right off the bat i kind of want to go for two yellow ones um so we're gonna have one here and then one next to it as well we're gonna put them closer to our mum actually our mum actually had bees too so this is quite cute that we're kind of bringing on her tradition and continuing it in life do we have a swing set i don't think we do but we should probably buy one considering our kid is gonna age up so i'm also going to buy a swing set we are going crazy with the money that he just got i think where's the what's this one like um i want to go for the rainbow one yeah this one right here i don't know where we're gonna see this is what i mean like our backyard is literally too small um so we definitely need to move um lots for sure but we're gonna put this here just for now and so there we go okay we're sorted also all our random plants <laughs> It looks so messy. I bet so many of you in the comments are like, Molly, why is your back garden as messy as my life though? What is happening? Honestly, same guys. Okay, apparently we can't throw that away just yet. Hopefully once he's thrown away this rubbish, we will be able to, yeah, there we go. Clean this up. Poppy is awake. She wants to ask for dance help apparently, but we aren't gonna do that. Oh, there's also dog hairs everywhere let me throw this away in the bin because this is gross Ooh, get in the bin they're all over the our daughter's floor which is probably not the best like not the cleanest place for a toddler to um to live i'm not gonna lie <laughs> and what can we do i i can't remember what time i planned the party for oh my god look we got another one prank holiday that's a surprise <gasps> I love that. So that's the first day of summer is prank day. That's awesome. Okay, so her party starts at 12 p.m. I think I'm going to skip through a little bit because I do actually want to enroll her in scouts and stuff. But first off, we are going to take an umbrella. We have to choose which one. I think that Grayson is like, he's a fairly like regular guy. So I'm going to go for a bright yellow one. We'll go for a yellow one for Grayson. Ooh. 
change into beekeeper suit, bond with the bees. I need to give them a spring makeover and everything. Okay, beginning of the next part, once she is actually a child, we'll give them a spring makeover for sure. Cause I definitely want them looking like legit for, uh, for spring. So honey amount empty, activity level active, and they are feeling calm right now. Um, maybe we should try and go bond with them, see if they like us. They might not be calm after we try and bond with them. We shall see. Oh, they glitched out, I think. Whoa, whoa, he's walking on water! <gasps> the second coming. Oh my god. I didn't realize that you were that type of guy. Oh, oh, nope, they don't like him. Oh, nope, nope, you disturb them. You disturb them. Don't swat at them, they're your bees. Oh goodness, that did not go well, did it? Let's try and bond with these ones. We should probably change into our beekeeper suit for this. Like, I feel like this is stupid to do without our beekeeper suit. Okay, so the ones on the right are definitely friendlier. <laughs> they aren't actually like, stinging us or anything they were nice so these ones are the bitches of the bees the bees knees bitches and then these guys are the good ones so we definitely bonded more with these can you not keep on disturbing them though like stop checking i think now that we've bonded honestly he's just gonna keep checking that a thousand times over which is very annoying so let's skip through to the birthday Okay, here we go. Birthday party is about to begin. Are you ready to start? This will end any currently running events. Let's start. Some tips, uh, birthday celebrants need a cake. Well, good job. We already got one of them. So let's whip out this strawberry cake. We are also going to add birthday candles onto it. Oh, he's so happy. He's actually listening to her question. Oh, you look so smart. Oh my goodness. He like got dressed up for her birthday. He's so freaking cute. I love him. He melts my little stone cold heart. And he, here is Brent. Um, he's gonna go straight onto our computer. No, we're gonna talk about the cloudy weather and get to know him. Can you stop playing Sims? Honestly, me. Like goes around to a birthday party and then freaking starts playing the Sims. <laughs> If only, if only I could get away with doing that in real life. I would freaking love that concept. Oh, she's wearing such a cute outfit for her birthday. What the heck? She is adorable. I love her so freaking much. Grayson has learned that Brent is a goofball. I kind of just want to like, oh my god, 3,199. That's actually not as bad as I was expecting it to be. What did that say? I couldn't reach your mailbox, but I managed to throw the mail in there. Good luck getting it back out. How could you not reach it? It's right freaking there. And guess what? We have enough money to pay our bills. So let's go get that done. Okay, our dad is here, which is all I really care about. Oh, I forgot we had a caterer. I forgot we ordered one. <laughs> I kind of just want to age her up. I'm not going to lie. So let's go um, help blow out candles, poppy jacks. Because I do just want her to be aged up. So let's do this, poppy. Let's blow out your candles, baby girl. I cannot wait for her to be a freaking kid. No, come on. Stop listening to her question. Help blow out candles, Poppy. Come on, please don't glitch on me now, game. Okay, here we go. I think we're gonna go help her. Okay, this is good. Oh, look at her blowing. She's so cute. She's gone like cross-eyed. Oh my actual goodness gracious me. She is so freaking you I just want to give her like the biggest hug ever oh my word why are you so adorable though I kind of don't want to age her up into a kid now because she's just gonna ruin the cuteness like what if she's not a cute kid what if she doesn't age up to be cute I'm gonna actually cry if that's the case 
Poppy aged up, so she was a clingy toddler. Poppy's skills as a toddler earned a bonus trait. See all Poppy's bonus traits in the Symology panel. So she was a top-notch toddler. Poppy got such a strong jump on skills as a toddler, they improve all other skills extra fast. Woohoo! And she also begins with um, level two of all of the kids' ones, which is awesome. So we need to pick an aspiration for her. We can go creativity, mental, motor, or social. She was clingy, and I kind of want to go with creativity, because I know there are some fun things that we can do with kids and like holiday decorations and stuff so I'm very much looking forward to it and then for her trait what do I want to make her maybe like a little bit of a perfectionist like with her skills that she had as a toddler I feel like she definitely would have become a little bit of a perfectionist oh she's so cute she actually has like an adorable face I freaking love her oh my god goodness. I mean, I'm not really feeling the outfit, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm also gonna change her hair up for sure, but she actually makes a really, really cute kid. Like I said, we will be having like spring makeovers and stuff in the beginning of the next part, or I might just do it as a separate video. You guys will just have to wait and see, but I think I'm gonna end this part here. We'll probably continue with the party in the next part, and then I'll I'll also just like explore some of the new interactions for children that came with seasons. I am so very excited. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed this part. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, leave your comments and suggestions down below as always. And also on that note, I actually want to bring back hashtag backchat. So if you guys don't know what backchat is, it's basically when you guys comment like an idea or something that you maybe want to see in my let's plays, you use the hashtag backchat in the comments down below. And then you are in with a chance of your comment being shown in the next video. So I definitely want to start doing that for this Let's Play. Loads of you guys have been asking for it back. And I've also just realized that my fan has been on this entire time. So I apologize if there was a really annoying like buzzing sound in the background of this video. Um, my fan was on and I've only just realized and I don't really want to have to record it all. So sorry for the fan sounds, but it's also like to stop my PC from overheating. But definitely use hashtag backchat in the comment section down below for your idea to be used in the future of this Let's Play. Thank you guys for watching and I will speak to you all in the next episode. Bye guys!